Scott, you know when you were doing your piece that, that when we were in school here, the Serenade Motel, and it was sort of trying to work through a linear, more of a linear narrative, and then that kind of ended up breaking down, and where the parts that it broke down in the movie were like the beautiful parts of it. <laughs> You are so disappointed in me. You are so disappointed in me. 何やってんの早くカニ食べに行こうよ。And about fugitivity as a space.、Mm -hmm. But where theoretically and where do you align with what is that space to move forward, to involve, to empower people, to empower family voice, to empower like children's voice, whatever. You know, all these things. I think that were radical in your work that really put you in a place to be then teaching students that that's what I'm trying to get out of the, the exhibition at Good Weather. Good Weather is an artist run contemporary art space in a garage of a suburban home in the ridiculously bucolic upper middle class neighborhood of Lakewood in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Good Weather's founder, director, curator, and chief preparator is the designer artist Haynes Riley. That's their lane number three is、uh, one of the heaviest foot traffic areas outside of downtown North Little Rock or downtown Little Rock. I mean, downtown Little Rock doesn't have foot traction.、Uh, maybe like near. It does during the day. During the day. But here, like during the day, during the evenings, during the mornings, there's people exercising around this lake. And so there's already stuff happening. The chief of police came here. Oh man, dude,、uh, Matthew during Kirkhoff's. Matthew Kirkhoff's show. He literally drove his truck like halfway up the driveway because he runs around the lake and、uh, he gets out of the car and he's like, Yeah, I saw this dude out of your, outside of your house just painting. Because、yeah. I was out raking the leaves that day when Matt was finishing his install. Good Weather is an all-encompassing family operation. Zachary Riley, older brother to Haynes, owner of the home in which Good Weather is situated, leaf raker, financial analyst, and all-around stand-up guy.、Uh, Painting his car over and over, wanted to see what was happening, so he came up, he looked around, and he's like, "Yeah, I need to leave because I'm sure y'all are gonna be smoking weed yesterday. This stuff's so trippy." He gets his car and he drives <laughs> off, and Matt gave it this awkward laugh because he didn't realize it was the chief of the police. Yeah. <laughs> in the code, the way we're zoned, there is a check in the box that says no art galleries. That's what it says. It literally says no art galleries. And so I tried to explain to him that while galleries in the name, this isn't an art gallery. Yeah. So anyway, the lawyer wrote an opinion for us about how he didn't see it as an the the lawyer calls for magic after three. Not our lawyer. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not our lawyer. That is not the true. City attorney. The city attorney. Hunter Riley. Haynes' identical twin brother is Good Weather's semi-official hospitality ambassador, tour guide, and co-founder of Schlepp. He had a New York strip. Those are called Freedom Rides. Freedom Rides. This is, this is like a New York strip. Arkansas toes. John Riley, a successful corn trader and patriarch of the family, is Good Weather's artist dinner coordinator. They're either side time, but I like that. Install at Good Weather is exemplified Southern hospitality, as in this gala at the William Jefferson Clinton Presidential Library, or a proper Southern meat lunch at Whole Hog Cafe. Can the, the Ingram, can the neighbors across、uh, across the lake see, see when you have the thing open? They, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you walk up, over there, it's a beacon. You drive over there, it's, it's, it's like, like a, a white.、Beacon. Yeah. And do, do people do people come over? Is, has anybody in the neighborhood in the direct neighborhood? Who really responded positively? Like, oh, every show I gotta come to every show. See, I'm doing my southern accent. Yeah,、again. yeah, it's a good one. People come over like every other, every couple of them. 
Um, they're like, I could do that. How much you charge you for yeah. that shit? Yeah. No, I, that's the wrong accent, though, right? <laughs> no, yeah. Make it more like mine. Yeah, yeah. make it more like <laughs> mine. Make it more like mine. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, Over the course of the past four years, good weather has mounted. 32 exhibitions of contemporary art focusing largely on emerging artists. Good weather has counted among its exhibitions work by Michael Asif. Ecological crisis dressed in formal abstraction. Sandra Perry. In this work we find an elusive space, a chroma key blue that is an understudy for blackness. Hartmut Austin. The phenomenological process of painting. Ezra Tesler. Between the awkward and comically abject. Lauren Cherry and Max Springer. Between altered nature and indoor space. Willie Wayne Smith. Automatic drawing stream of consciousness language and narrative forms. Martha Misko. Teenage surrealism and mid-1990s pop culture. Devin Farron. Flaming engines and oil-dripped stained surfaces, dusty dirt roads and quarries flooded with rainwater. Michael Boswell. The superficial and metaphysical hunt for pleasure and preservation. Tony Hope. The defunct shopping mall is backdrop the guts of an arcade and a toy store weave among the transgressive. Ian Jones. Space is based on the body, but not meant for the body. And view. Light solidified and time visualized. And Talon Gustafson. The aesthetics of the home interior and DIY decoration. The terrain historically associated with the feminine touch. Good Weather has mounted 32 shows over the course of four years with zero financial institutional support. This effectively means that Haynes Riley has been personally responsible for the safe return of all of this work. Rental of a minivan to carry art from Little Rock, Arkansas to Detroit costs $661.72 here is one of the major points of episode number 25. Look, th this is a model for success in the arts. This motherfucker is not waiting around for institutional support, not waiting around for other people to recognize his genius before he starts his program. He's not waiting on other people's money and he's got skin in the game. All the work that's in my studio, I have literally been getting up at 4 or 30 in the morning to try to get a sizable full studio day in before I hit the grad studio.
upon your cheek Can you feel my hand upon the scene tonight when you dream of me? Your brother's man and your daddy too Tear this town apart for you And if they find you in my arms I swear their vengeance and their heart Earth and sky and fields of green That night I showed you things you'd never seen The breeze inside my memory The interpretation of work is a major component of the graduate studio that I lead. I was fortunate and moved that Aaron Weindorf took the time to interpret my work at the opening. The world looking at me and I'm trying to buy in to what they're doing and all the uh, confusion that I'm having, I'm not looking at them the way I need to look at them as people. I'm looking at them more as an alien and, and I'm not buying what they're doing. So that's probably the death of me because I'm not buying into what they're doing. Marilyn Riley, the heart of the operation, cooks big pots of chili both vegan and non for the openings. <laughs> Who cooked the, the soup? The, uh, of course you did. I figured I'd ask. Haynes Riley did his graduate work in my studio. I can see the tendrils of this type of thinking in the work of two current players in the graduate studio who are operating under the name Dot Biz. Let's take a quick look at what they're working on now. Dot Biz is Alex Miser and Helen Ip. Dot Biz is a free artist's residency. Publishing Press and Library, located within Cranbrook Academy of Art. DotBiz takes an expansionist approach to resources by instituting a free artist residency inside the confines of Cranbrook Academy of Art. DotBiz, taking the gotcha out of institutional critique. All right, it's that awkward time again where I ask you to put your finger on the subscribe button and hit subscribe. Also, I try to produce comment response videos immediately after the initial episode has been released, so if you put a comment in the comment section, look for a response in the next couple of days. Till next time.